Big military news this morning as the U.S. gets closer to leaving Iraq. Right now, control of Camp Victory officially belongs to the Iraqi government. The news crossed our wires just before we came on air this morning at 4.30. The transfer comes as all U.S. troops prepare to leave Iraq by the end of the year. Tenor Your Science' David Culver joins us with details on the ceremony and what will become of the camp. And we've heard from a lot of those troops who hope this is more than just a ceremonial transfer, that all of their work will really take hold. Right, and it seems as of now, that the Iraqis are in control, especially this morning. And this is a major step in the mm -hmm. U.S. pullout from Iraq. At the height of the surge, Victory Base Complex, located on the outskirts of Baghdad, was, more, was home to more than 40,000 troops and some 20,000 contractors. Camp Victory, as it became known, was essentially a city. In fact, several different camps made up the facility, which was established almost nine years ago. Troops could travel from one part of the camp to another via a bus system. The grounds also reflect historical moments for the Iraqi people because it was here in a bombed out building turned maximum security prison where Saddam Hussein was held until his execution. Now you're looking at a ceremony from yesterday. That's where Vice President Joe Biden thanked both U.S. and Iraqi troops for their many sacrifices. We're gathered here to thank the armed forces of Iraq and America and to honor your sacrifice, to honor your success as well as your commitment. Across Iraq, the U.S. has been turning over control of hundreds of bases. Thursday, Iraq's Navy assumed control of a base in the port city of Basra. At one time, there were 505 U.S. bases in Iraq. Today, just six. So on behalf of President Obama and the American people, let me say to both our armed forces today, thank you. Thank you for your heroic work that each and one of you has done to bring about this moment. Because of you, and there's no exaggeration to say that, because of you and the work of those of you in uniform have done, we are now able to end this war. At one point, there were 170,000 troops serving in Iraq. Today, that number is down to 13,000, and it is quickly dwindling. Don and Kerry, of course, now this morning we can say Camp Victory is no more, but only time will tell what happens with this piece of property. All right, and we will be watching, as will the world. Yeah. All right, thanks very much. Sure, guys. Cover in the studio for us this morning.